Good morning, lady. Are you ready to go? Are you doing your business? So I go. Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning. I decided to go ahead and take you around just to see what's been going on and see what's different. I did some drastic prunings out here, um, and I think that was a benefit to the whole space over here. I will show you what I'm talking about in just a second. The lady here is gonna join me. Hey, lady. Here on this side, I had some pumpkins and they were kind of taken over over here, but they weren't producing much. They had little bulbs and then they all kind of withered away. Um, and I thought that was the problem with pollination, which probably was, but I decided to go ahead and rip it up. And I did that over there in that corner. And so I left um, two plants of cucumbers and they had taken over this whole trellis and look they're finally starting to produce i mean it's peak time for cucumbers and i haven't even harvested one yet so hopefully this helps and i will finally get some cucumbers my okra over here is doing pretty well can't complain you know no flowers yet or anything like that i think this was a sign of a flower but it dried out, so patience is key, I guess. Yes, can I help you? I love how you just joined me here. So then we have our tomatoes here, and they're finally starting to produce some. Here's one, and here's another over here. So we got some. Uh, this cantaloupe here, I can't decide whether I should pull it out and give the rest of the plants here a little bit more room or leave it be. I'm not sure, but I mean, it's doing pretty good. Yes, I hear you. Don't have any treats for you right now. And then we have some peppers. So these two are the peppers that I topped um, and they're producing some good uh, flowers here. Here's a cluster and here's a cluster. I think they're doing pretty good. Same as here. Um, however, the ones that I did not top have already produced flowers, flowered, and produced some peppers. I mean, look at that. That's pretty wonderful. I love it. These tomatoes have been doing wonderful. I love the smell of these, so fresh. Beautiful, beautiful clusters. I love it. And guys, look at this. I got a blushing tomato. And I mean, I think this is a yellow variety because it feels quite soft right now as it is. I don't know. I think I'll give it another day and just pull it and see how it does. I'm really excited, I'm so excited. And these tomatoes are a weird shape. I planted two or three varieties of different tomatoes. Uh, of course, I did not label anything, so we will see what happens, you know? As you remember in the middle, I planted some flowers and now it looks like a jungle, so you can't really tell where the middle is. But look guys, I think the flowers are start finally going to op open soon. Look at these, I think the flowers are finally going to open up here. Here's another one. A lot of people said that this looks like dill. I don't blame them, it does look like it, but these are flowers. These are meant to attract some pollinators and prevent things like this. Empty um, flower clusters. So hopefully it works. 
And then we have this garden. I'm sorry, I didn't show you, but I did harvest my first zucchini. If you don't follow my Instagram, go ahead and give it a follow. It's at garden a little. And I harvested my first zucchini and it was a good size zucchini. And I thought maybe I will get another one over there. But I think this one is again, shriveling up and dying just like the rest of them. So if I got one zucchini for the whole entire season, I think that's a success because it's my first time growing it. The rest of the space is very crowded, as you know. Um, did not space properly, but here's an eggplant. Um, you know, a tomato here <laughs> in the midst of cantaloupe jungle. But these cantaloupes are looking good and pollinators have been really loving them. So I'm really hoping for some good, successful, grown, homegrown cantaloupes. That would be ideal. But yeah, and one of these plants is a cucumber. So as you can see here, that's a little baby cucumber. Oh my goodness. You just wanna be a center of attention, don't you? And then some more tomatoes, some random girls out here. I don't have anything. Um, but yeah, look at these fuzzy, fuzzy babies. They're looking so good. And I got some baby tomatoes. By midday, this Swiss chard is covered by bees and pollinators. So that's why I'm out here in the morning. But it's looking really good. And I really hope I can save seeds from this. Thank you guys for coming along on this short little tour of my garden and following my journey. You know, my garden year has not been the most successful uh, and definitely probably the least successful out of everybody that I'm watching. But you know, I'm learning. I am teaching myself. I got two chickens. They've been laying me eggs. Thank you, ladies. Um, and you know, I'm learning as I'm going. I'm trying to eat healthier, coming up with recipes. So, you know, as I learn, come along and we'll learn together. Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Say bye.